It's rookie camp season, and we're going to take a look at the Denver Broncos and get our first look at Bo Nix with a little bit of Troy Franklin sprinkled in. We're going to see him catch some balls. We're going to see Bo Nix throw the ball all over the yard. But before we do all that, you need to click that subscribe button right now because we are talking about these rookie camps, going over these clips every day, multiple times a day, going over as many players as possible during rookie camp season. You don't want to miss out on your favorite rookies. Click that button. Stop missing out. But here's Bo Nix. This first one zoomed out a good bit. Over a minute of clips. Him slinging the rock around. We're going to run through this a few times. We're going to watch him. Then we're going to talk ball on him. The Broncos. Troy Franklin. I think there's Troy Franklin right there. I think I see a 16 on it. And I think that was from Bo Nix. It zoomed out quite a bit. Bo Nix should be to the left-ish or maybe in the middle. Bo Nix is number 10. Should be right there in the middle, right there. Boom. Or it's the other one. Moving on to the next play here. There we go. To Troy Franklin. I will have a Troy Franklin video out too. Because he's got a lot of clips. They love Troy Franklin. See, he's already got a lot of clips on this one. Bo Nix and Troy Franklin went to college together. If you did not know that, which I imagine if you're a Broncos fan, that was reiter reiterated to you a million times over. We talked about these guys a million times during the draft process. Bo Nix, where was he going to go in the draft? We talked Troy Franklin up as one of the top wide receivers in the draft. Bo Nix has an arm on him. He can throw it accurately downfield. He will check it down a good bit because when the pass rush is coming at him, he'll... Go to his safest outlet. Definitely will. We're looking at Troy Franklin. I can talk ball on him all day long. One of my favorite wide receivers in this 2024 NFL draft class. He's a good separator. He can get downfield. Had a good average depth of target during his collegiate career. Bo Nix and him together, I think that's a good combo. Bo Nix has a good arm on him. He can throw it with accuracy. Really developed over his long collegiate career. Started off at Auburn. Things didn't go too hot there, but it is also Auburn. I think Auburn's on the come up, especially with the wide receivers they got. But he, when he went to Oregon, really turned things around. Production-wise, accuracy, sometimes a new place for a young quarterback. That's all it needs to be. Him and Troy Franklin linking up together at the NFL level. Bo Nix is going to hit. Troy Franklin is going to be a big part of that. Troy Franklin's going to a depth chart where he can climb it and become a big factor. I am a Troy Franklin fan. Loved him in the draft process. Loved watching him on tape. I love the advanced metrics. And when I do his video of clips, you're going to hear me say a lot on him. Bo Nix... The Broncos had to do what they needed to do in the draft, and that's get themselves a quarterback. They did that. He's a developmental quarterback, but he's a high-end developmental quarterback. He's got some goods to his game. I know a lot of people don't like him, but honestly, functionality-wise, he he can develop into much more. And the quarterback position is the hardest position to grade out in all of sports. I can tell you this. That he's very smart with the football. He's very safe with the football. They're going to get weapons around him. This could be a multi-year process. But them getting Troy Franklin, trading up for them, waking up at 6 in the morning, Sean Payton texting, hey, I want Troy Franklin, is a good sign that they're willing to build around Bo Nix, do whatever it takes to get their guys. Troy Franklin, a fantastic discount in the fourth round. You're talking about a second-round quality player you're getting in the fourth round, maybe late first. A lot of people were mocking him in the late first round to the Chiefs. But he was a heavy favorite to go in the first round or early second. Goes to the fourth round, surprises everybody. Look at that break on that cut. Limited drip. Looks good. Bo Nix, on the other hand. I think he's got some upside here. 
We do need to take some step forwards in our development, definitely. And this could be a multi-year process. And you're going to have to be patient with him. But he's smart with the football. He protects it. He's a guy that could develop here. He developed over the course of his career at the college level from Auburn to Oregon. We saw that. We saw him take steps forward. Felt like he was at college forever. But you know what? He's got a lot of experience. He's got experience working in different systems. He's got experience developing. And maybe over time he can develop in this system. The Broncos did not have to pay a ton for him. It's not like they had to pay the 101. They got him at a decent cost. The sunk cost isn't super high. He's still a first-round quarterback. But still, Bo Nix does have some goods to his game. He could surprise you. He could exceed expectations. you got to be patient with him. He's got some accuracy downfield. He can sling it around the yard. He's smart with the football. He's a guy you got to pay attention to over the course of time. Troy Franklin, though, he's a baller. He's a certified baller. He's got good route running. He can break off routes, create separation, get downfield, can track it. He's a guy you got to be on the lookout for. If he hits, if he goes off, Bo Nix could be going off too. And he could be the catapult for Bo Nix for hitting his upside. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button on the way out. One thing for watching. Catch you on the next video.